we grind pistons and they're just fine going out the door. We even inspect for cracks, but never find any. However, our customer says our pistons are cracking after just a few hours in service. We tell them they're not cracked, but they're still blaming us. What's going on? Here's our piston shaft, and here is our grinding wheel. Now we grind away, and let's say things get hot. If things get hot, we get something called residual tensile stress, and we get something called rehardening burn. Surface is metallurgically damaged, but doesn't have any cracks. It just means it's burnt. Burned from residual tensile stresses and burned from a change in the microstructure. Past the austenitizing temperature, you get untempered martensite. It's hard and brittle. No cracks. They look good. They look clean. They go out the door. The customer gets them, says, yep, there are no cracks. Look good. Stick them in service, and the thing cracks after 10,000 cycles. Now, why is that? Some guys named Field and Calls back in 1985 did some tests. They took a shaft, they ground it gently, they took another one, ground it pretty hard, and this is what they found. If you're familiar with this type of curve, basically it's how many cycles are we going to go till failure based on how much stress we apply to this guy. Okay? The general moral of the story is if you have residual tensile stresses, and particularly if you have rehardening burn, the fatigue life of your part is going to be low even though you don't see any cracks. So just because you don't see any cracks doesn't mean the part's not damaged. And when this guy goes into service, if you do have residual stress and rehardening burn, he is going to have a lower fatigue life. You need to check for these things. You need to check for residual stresses. You need to check for rehardening burn if that is an issue for a reduction in fatigue life.